Number seven, the bystander bias in our cognitive distortions and uh, things that we can start to control in ourselves to, to be better people, to become more uncivilized. Um, this is when, let's say an emergency happens and there's about 10 of us standing around and we see uh, maybe a small fender bender or a car accident and nobody calls 911. Uh, that's the bystander bias uh, in effect. You assume that someone else is going to do something. Part of this is probably related back to uh, groupthink bias, um, which was we did in an a earlier video, um, where uh, people get paralyzed by indecision or not wanting to be assertive or, or take charge. If, if you had uh, a group of 10 people and everybody wanted to take charge all the time, you'd have uh, chaos. So human beings will naturally uh, sort of defer uh, to, to others or be uh, polite and come to a consensus as to decisions being made. That's kind of the natural human way. But it starts from a bias toward inactivity. Uh, when an emergency happens, you tend to wait and see. Well, somebody else will, obviously, if somebody will call 911 because there's just a car accident. Well, that seems obvious to you, but it's also obvious to the other nine people that witnessed that. So, uh, in order to combat the bystander bias, be present, be aware, and then take take steps. I'm sure that uh, it, it's better to get four or five calls to 911 reporting the same accident than uh, no calls, uh, for instance. So, beware of the bystander effect when you feel yourself standing or caught in a position where you're you're wondering whether you should take action and you hear yourself with that inner voice saying, well, somebody will, then you, you know you're caught up with the bystander uh, cognitive distortion, and maybe to break out of that, you should take some action. It's almost always better to act um, than not act in any kind of emergency. So um, set your default to action.